Wow! Hi guys, it's Nick from Let's Chat and Happy New Year. It's now 2024. I'm going to do the longest AFL Premiership droughts in history of each team. So let's get underway. So I'm going to go in team order and the first team is the Adelaide Crows from 1998 to 2023 and they haven't won a premiership since 1998 so that's 25 years without a premiership for the Adelaide Crows. So the next team is the Brisbane Lions. Their last premiership was 2003 and from 2023. So it's been a 20 year drought. That's their longest premiership drought that they've ever had in their career, the Brisbane Lions. So the next team is my beloved Blues, Carlton. They had a 28 year premiership drought. Like their last premiership was 1995 and they're still hunting for their next premiership. Just like Adelaide and Brisbane, they're still hunting for their next premiership um, since their last premiership, Carlton, which was 1995. So the next team is Collingwood. They had a 32-year premiership drought once in their career, from 1958 to 1990. Now, we have Essendon and their current um, biggest um, drought is 23 years from 2000 to 2023 and they are still hunting for their next premiership. So now the next team is Fremantle. Since they joined the competition from 1995 they have yet to win a premiership. So it's 29 years. From 1995 to 2023 when they joined in at the end of the 1994 season. Now the next team is Geelong. They once broken a 44 year premiership drought from 1963 to 2007. So now we've got the Gold Coast Suns, um, they haven't won a premiership, so they're on a 13-year premiership drought at the moment from 2011 to 2023 onwards. So they're still hunting for their first ever premiership. So now we've got GWS, and they're um, still hunting for their first premiership as well. So from 2012 to 2023, that's 12 years. So the next team is Hawthorne. The Hawks, once upon a time, they had a 37-year premiership drought from 1925 to 1961. All right, now we've got Melbourne. They've broken a 57-year drought one time from 1964 to 2021. And I remember watching this grand final a couple of years ago when Melbourne won that famous premiership. It was in lockdown and they had to play at Optus Stadium in Perth. So, and I, and I remember watching it with my dad. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a good day for Melbourne and, and I wanted Melbourne to win. Yeah. So 57 years for Melbourne. So now we've got North Melbourne and they're from 1924 to 1975. So, 51 years it took them to win a premiership in their time so far. Now the next team is Port Adelaide. They're on a 19 premiership drought at the moment. So their only premiership they won was in 2004 and they're still hunting for their second premiership to this date. So it's 19 years. So the next team is Richmond. Their longest premiership drought they've been involved in was a 37 year drought. From 1980 to 2017, and I remember watching this with my dad also. 
and it was like a fairy tale story for Richmond after the year before they finished 13th on the ladder and they were the first team to do it. So 37 years for Richmond. Four teams to go and the fourth last team is St Kilda and oh boy, they had a massive 68 premiership drought in the olden days. From 1897 to 1966, that was when St Kilda won their only premiership when they kicked the winning point and they won by that margin in the end with their only premiership up to date today. So it took St Kilda 68 years once upon a time to win a premiership. Well, it's just as you think St Kilda's 68 premiership drought was huge. Well, the next team is Sydney and Sydney's even bigger, a whopping 72 year premiership drought. And that's the biggest, longest premiership drought in the AFL VFL history. 72 years from 1933 to 2005. You know, when Leo Barry took that mark in the dying seconds of the game when, when the commentator said, Leo Barry, you star! You know, and, and you know the rest. So, yeah, 72 years for the Sydney Swans slash South Melbourne. So the second last team we've got is the West Coast Eagles. Their longest premiership drought is 12 years. And they did that on two occasions, actually. From, well, but the most recent one was from 2006 to 2018. So that's 12 years for West Coast. So the final team we've got is the Western Bulldogs and they broke a 62 premiership drought and I remember watching the 2016 grand final when they broke that drought and oh boy it was a fairy tale story I remember watching it with my mum and her partner and yeah it was a good day for the Bulldogs and it would, would have been really good for the western suburbs and in Melbourne and would have been a awesome day if you're a Western Bulldog supporter. I know a lot of Western Bulldog supporters around, like, and they've been really passionate about the Bulldogs, as they would be. Like, I'm passionate about Carlton because I'm a Carlton supporter. So, yeah, so 62 years from 1954 to 2016. So, there you go, guys. That's all the teams, and I'm sorry that I haven't been um, posting any videos much lately. I've been pretty slack, and I I had some personal things going on. But um, other than that, I I've been working as well, and I was focusing on other things, you know, spending a bit bit of time with family and other stuff like that. But I can promise you. This year is going to be massive on YouTube, so stay tuned. This is the first of many videos, and I, I don't think anyone's done a video like this yet about premiership droughts. So I just came up with it today, and I I thought why not um do it and yeah see how it goes. So thank you all for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you guys.